Please buy this information. Dante's Box Nation, what's going on guys? So we're over here still at the press conference, at the media center I should say. It's two o'clock in the morning right now and we just seen a great fight. Congratulations to Showtime, Sean Porter. Actually, my man Fred just reminded me, it's three in the morning right now. You know, and um, like I said, once again, congratulations to my man Showtime, Sean Porter. Um, this was a big win, man. This was a real big win. I still need to go home and watch the fight on TV because you get a different perspective when you're watching it live. But from what I've seen, it looked like uh, the pressure, it actually did get to Adrian Broner. It looked like his, his main keys to victory was to tie up Sean Porter. But the problem with that is after he tied him up, he was fighting mainly on his back foot. Make sure that ain't my alarm back there, over there. But anyway, yeah, it looked like he was fighting mainly on his back foot. He was never really initiating the attack. He was never really first. And that seems to be the reason why he lost this fight. You know, Sean Porter, he did a real good job. I was surprised that he got knocked down. I mean, you know, uh, Adrian Broner, he was trying to land that check hook the entire night, and it looked good. The check hook looked good, but yeah, he wasn't really landing it. But, you know, you could just tell he had mean intentions on it. You know, but he couldn't land it, though. You know, I thought the fight looked a little closer when I watched it once again live, but when I go back home and check it out, you know, I might see it differently. But that's the way I've seen the fight. I'm just giving you guys a, a brief summary. I'll most likely do another um, breakdown uh, post-fight uh, video. 